Crew 3 will dock at the International Space Station at 7.10 this evening. This is a live look at where the capsule and space station are right now as they orbit the Earth. That is so cool. And the crew did lift off from the Cape just after 9 o'clock last night. Yeah, too late for me last night. A lot of people couldn't see it because of the cloud cover, yeah. but let me tell you, it was a per picture-perfect launch. Here's a look if you did miss it. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And so there they go. The Crew 3 astronauts will take Crew 2's place at the ISS. Those astronauts already splashed down Monday night off the Florida coast. NASA saying the agency and SpaceX are paving the way for the future of commercial spaceflight. The main thing to take away is that we are launching American astronauts from American soil on an American rocket. We're also learning how to live in low Earth orbit so that when we move on to the moon and as we're preparing for Artemis to fly to the moon and then eventually Mars. Well, after their 22 hour trip, the astronauts are going to spend six months on board the space station doing spacewalks and a lot of research that will help us back here on Earth. Well, people from all over the country came to the Space Coast to watch that launch. The rainy weather yesterday evening did not deter people. We talked to one person who was seeing a rocket fly into space for the very first time. For the first time, it was it was spectacular. The, the clouds interfered a little bit, but it was it was still great for first timers. All oh, glad he got to get out there and see it. And this, by the way, was the fifth crewed mission for SpaceX in the last 18 months. If you did miss the launch, we're making.